good morning, happy bank holiday. I am so excited because I've got three days off and I get to do what I love. I get to spend my time in my kitchen doing some DIY. I've given myself like three days just in case this takes me a super long time because I don't want to go back to work and not have this finished and completely perfect. If you've been following my channel, you might already know that I have previously covered these kitchen cupboards that used to be like a tan color with this matte gray vinyl from DC Fix. And it's amazing what a difference it's made to my kitchen. And these tiles used to be cream color and I painted them white and it looks, it looks much, much better. But I've been gifted some amazing products from a company called Create Your World Limited. And these are basically the DC Fix products and the things that I've used before, apart from this one, this tile one here, that is going to be put over my tiles and I'm ridiculously excited about this. I have a little bit of a thing for really nice tiles, but I can't afford really nice tiles. So I'm going to cover these disgusting old tiles with this amazing vinyl stuff that looks so beautiful. And it kind of looks like real tiles, if you didn't know. I mean, I have this thing about telling everybody, like, well, <laughs> you could say that they'll look like real tiles if you don't tell anyone. But the first thing I'll do when people walk through my door is, oh my God, have you seen this stuff? Um, they're not real. I have got to first do all the prep work. So first of all, I need to remove the old vinyl because I've also covered my worktops in this vinyl stuff already, this wood effect grey colour. But since doing that, I've painted the walls grey as well. It's a little bit too grey, especially if I'm going to change the tiles to grey tiles as well. It's going to look a little bit too grey. Yeah, I'm going to change it to a, another wood effect from DC Fix, but it's more of a, it's got a little bit of a brown tone to it, not too brown, so it's still kind of in keeping, but it will just warm it up slightly, I think, and just kind of just, just give a little bit of a break between the grey, <laughs> grey, <laughs> and just kind of, yeah, add a little bit, something different. First of all, I need to take off that. I need to remove all of the old sealant, which I don't know what's going on, but whatever sealant I used and however I did it, I mustn't have done a very good job, or I've just got it wet way too many times, and it's all kind of disintegrated and disappeared. So I need to remove it, get rid of any residue of that that's left over, remove everything, wipe down the tiles, just make sure all of the plug sockets are as clean as I can get them, clean everything up, and then I can make a start. So I'm gonna get stuck into all of that first. originally it's weird it hasn't been that many years since I've had that stuff on it but it feels like I can't even remember when it was like this I've removed all of the sealant now from here and made it as like clean as possible so I can get right down into the corner into that little right angle with the tile wallpaper stuff so yeah I've never used this stuff before I've been given this paste stuff to use as well this is ceramic glue basically, it's ceramic adhesive, so it will stick to ceramic things such as tiles and I've asked and apparently it's fine to do over painted tiles as well, if not even better somehow, so hopefully it will stick down really really well but I'm so excited to get this on the wall. Just to show you this stuff before it goes on my wall, it comes in a really big roll like this, there's plenty of it, you can order it to whatever size you need basically just make sure you measure the surfaces that you're going to need to cover and also just give that extra little bit measurement as well just obviously so that you can cut the straight lines because you don't want to order the exact amount just in case it's slightly wrong also just order a little bit extra in case you make any mistakes God, which i have no idea if i'm going to do or not but this stuff is beautiful so it is waterproof as long as you use the sealant to seal it um, and it's really wipeable and everything the surface is really really smooth and it's quite thick as well it's a nice kind of a nice thickness to it and it's really 
bendable and stuff, so hopefully it should be easy to apply to the wall. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna give this stuff a shot. Thing I've never actually used. <laughs> they come in a pack, um, what's the other piece to it? They come in a pack and you get the little applicator, so it's got a smooth, smoothing thing. I, every time I've done it, I've literally just used my hand, so I use this part of my hand as that. So I'm really excited to try this out and hopefully it'll just be easier, not as difficult as using your hand. And usually I just use quite a big, um, one of these scalpy things, but let's, yeah, I'm hoping this might be even better to use than that one because I'm pretty sure, I mean, you've just seen that I've been using that to get rid of all the sealant, so like it might even be blunt by now, I don't even know, whereas this is the nice new sharp one, so hopefully it will really help to get those clean edges. much cut to size here I have left I think I've left a whole tile size just because I was panicking I just wanted to get rid of the initial too much stuff first and then I might trim it down even more and um, so I've pretty much done the rough amount that I'm going to need for this whole stretch again leaving a good excess just in case of anything so that I can cut the line straight along this bit a bit unsure whether this is a good idea at all but I'm struggling cutting directly around the plug sockets I'm just a little bit nervous of going wrong I'm thinking if I unscrew the plug sockets a little bit if there's a little bit of excess I can tuck it underneath and it might make a neater job I'm gonna turn the electrics off obviously see if I can find a screwdriver and see if I can do it that way It looks so beautiful. It was a little bit of a challenge at first just because I was really stumped as to how to go around the plug sockets, but I managed it in the end. So now it's time to put this lovely stuff on the worktops. So this is actual like, 
don't know, do you call it vinyl or sticky back plastic kind of stuff? I was calling this vinyl earlier. This isn't really vinyl. It's, well, it might be, but it's more like wallpaper, basically. It's like just putting on like a thick, rubbery wallpaper. But I'm pretty amazed as how much these actually look like tiles. I'm so excited. It looks beautiful. Um, but I really need to get rid of this hideous worktop. So I think this is going to look beautiful. Um, I've had a little break and tidied around my kitchen just because I kind of made a little bit of a mess whilst I was doing that. But it's all done and it was totally worth it. And now I'm going to give this a go. See now I've cut all the pieces to size, although a little bit bigger than size, on some of those bits. Um, but it's just to kind of give me a guide so they're all in their separate pieces and now I can start sticking them down. Is all of the work top done it looks absolutely beautiful if I do say so myself <laughs> oh my god I love it what to do now is to put a sealant line all the way across all of the edges all the way over here and also all around my sink as well just to stop it from, you know, yeah, from water getting underneath and just to seal all of the edges. And it's the most messy job 
I don't know, I tend to get it all over me anyway. I don't know whether anyone has any tips. You'll probably put some tips in the comments now and it's gonna be too late because I'm going to be head to toe in this stuff. I bought a more expensive one this time, I think, than I used last time. Just in case, that's why it kind of disintegrated into thin air after a while. So this is the Unibond one and it's a triple protection so hopefully we'll stop any mould, we'll see. And I've bought it in white because just in case any of my lines ended up being a little bit dodgy, I thought the white would cover it as opposed to using a translucent one where you'd be able to still see what I'm trying to hide underneath with this. So yeah, wish me luck. little tip for when you run your finger along the sealant to make it um, sink into place, you put a little bit of washing up liquid on your finger. Um, so I do do that, but I still end up getting covered in it. I'm actually okay after that first strip. finished. I decided last minute that I will use a clear sealant to go around the sink. I just feel like the white's quite... and I think around the sink it will just look a little bit too much because I think that's what I did last time. Anyway, all done. I am so happy with this kitchen. It's ridiculous. It's just like I've got a brand new kitchen and it just doesn't even cost that much. It's unbelievable. I just... This morning when I started this challenge, I was literally not sure if I could if I could do it. And when I started ripping off the old one, I was just like, why have I started this? Why? I loved my worktop, but this has just turned out so well. And I'm so glad that I did it. And yeah, it really wasn't all that difficult. It's taken me pretty much all day, but I have been filming as well as doing it. So if I was just doing it without filming, it would have taken me much like less time. It's about five o'clock now and I think I started about ten-ish. So it has literally taken me a work shift. <laughs> it's taken me a long time but I am so happy with the results and I hope you like what it looks like and I hope it inspires you to give this a go because I rave about this stuff to everybody. It's ridiculous. I just want to cover everything in my house with stuff. I just can't believe that I can transform my kitchen Whenever I feel like it, if I fancy a change one day, I can change this. I don't ever want to change this by now though. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to Create Your World for letting me work with you on this video. It's my first ever sponsored kind of video ad thing. And as you all know, I love DIY. I love this DC fix anyway. I would never ever do something and promote something that I do not absolutely love. And I've had this stuff covered on so many things around my house and it's lasted so well so I love this stuff and I will always love it forever and ever. I'm gonna go now <laughs> I'm gonna go and um seeing as we can't cook in our kitchen tonight just because because I just want to let it settle you know I'm gonna go and get a Chinese so see you next time